This remote village in the eastern Czech Republic is the location of the new reality TV series on Czech Public TV. It's called Holiday in the Protectorate. The show sends three generations of a family back to the time of the Nazi occupation. Accompanied constantly by cameras, they're supposed to be recreating the circumstances in the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia after Germany invaded Czechoslovakia in 1939. The show is based on German TV's Schwarzwaldhaus, or earlier British and US historical reality series. The family was told only that it would be living some time in the past. 400 families applied for the role. They may have been attracted by the prospect of receiving around 35,000 euros for the 60 days of filming. The seven members of the family that won the casting tests are not professional actors, but all the other figures are, like the Gestapo informers who make the family's life a misery and the other characters. Director Zora Zenkova came up with the idea for the program. She says it's not just entertainment, but a kind of history lesson for all those who didn't experience the period 76 years ago. We're trying to find answers to the question of how people dealt with the situation back then. How did they react? The area where the series plays was the location of fighting during the war. Czech partisans attacked German troops, who in turn took revenge on the local people. The Gestapo was based in the next village. I think this project has its value in the way it seems authentic and that it was made with great historical care. The viewers learn a great deal about life in the Protectorate. We used archive material and we've tried to put what takes place in the house into historical context. Critical reactions to the show have been mixed. It's also divided the Plachis. While Jiri Plachy of the Military History Institute defends the show with arguments like those of the director, his wife, Pavla, a historian, takes a different view. Of course they can't simulate the real situation. I think it's nonsense to do that. It's a game and it remains a game. The experiences of the people who lived back then can't be conveyed today. You can't compare reactions today with the reactions back then because the people are living in an entirely different context. A more damning criticism comes from Jana Vraslova, a spokeswoman for a Czech organization of freedom fighters who resisted the Nazis. The years of the protectorate from 1939 to 1945 were a very difficult time for Czechs and Slovaks. From our point of view, it's completely impermissible to turn it into a reality TV series. It's an insult to the people who fought for our freedom back then. Nonetheless, the Czech public broadcaster, which is airing the eight episodes in a prime time slot, sees the show as a big draw. The Nazis and Czech resistance to them are an attraction more than seven decades after the events.